from NBC News. This is Today. Now we're also going to talk about something called Blink Technology. It's a new kind of credit card. It's sort of like an easy pass, but could it lead to financial ruin? We're going to take a look at that. And we also had this morning Blink Technology, how you may be able to pay for your purchases at the mall with a wave of your hand. Is that a good idea? Plus, coming up next, Blink Technology coming to a credit card near you. We're going to fill you in. And later... This morning, we're kicking off a new series we're calling Today's Two Cents. And we're beginning with something called Blink Technology. You may be using something like it already. A wave and pay credit card. Some say it's the safest and easiest way to pay at the register. Well, today's financial contributors, David and Jonathan Murray, which one is which, we'll find out, are both here to put in their two cents about this morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Which is really interesting, Jonathan, uh -huh. right, yeah. David, yes, is, that, to... is that this thing has an antenna and a computer chip in it? It's amazing, isn't it? They're making technology so small now. There is a built-in chip right into that card so that now, as you're waiting in line, you don't have to run the magnetic strip card through the reader. You simply hold it up to a reader and you're on your way. It uses a kind of radio frequency identification. We've actually got some people who um, are, can show us how this Great. works. Let's take a look. It's, it's uh, some, uh, some people in Denver, Colorado at an Arby's where they're going to introduce this. And Rob Williams is the Arby's manager and Gia Balage is the cus customer this morning. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Good morning. So, Rob, show us how this works exactly. Well, right now, uh, Gia has ordered a uh, turnover and a coffee, and basically she's just going to go ahead and pay right now, and we'll finish the transaction here real quick. And basically, this is the receipt, and she's all done there. She doesn't have to sign this? No. Gia, this looks pretty quick and, and easy. What do you think about it? It's great. It's very fast and easy. Okay, well, let's talk to the experts about what they think. Stand by for us. So what do you think, Jonathan? I think it's Advantages? absolutely unbelievable. Like it or not, Americans today want speed and convenience. We don't like to wait in line at 7-Eleven for our coffee, beholden to some slow clerk who seems to be moving at an underwater pace. We want to be <laughs> on our way, off to our jobs, off to our families, doing the things that we really want to do. I think Blink wireless technology is going to get us out of those lines a lot quicker. So it's convenient. It's also good for business? Absolutely, it's good for business because, you know, Yogi Berra said, oh, I don't go to that place anymore, it's too crowded. Well, uh, businesses, don't, <laughs> businesses want to get as many customers through their lines as possible. And also you say there's consumer protection. There is. This is triple DES, triple data encryption standard, 128 bits, so it's very, very safe, unlike some of the concerns Dave's probably going to talk about. This is a pretty safe you, card. I see you're chomping I'm, at the I bit. I am chomping at the bit. And, what are the problems? Finally, it's nice for me to have a chance to talk instead of Jonathan. So it's always <laughs> in my, out loud. Ooh, sibling rivalry going on it's here. It's beginning. Can you feel the tension mounting? <laughs> yeah. uh, the privacy issue is one, one that I'm concerned about. What's the privacy if, problem? Well, if that reader at the Arby's can pick up her credit card, so can another reader. Hmm. Uh, if George Orwell were here right now, he'd be having a field day with RFID technology. So wait a minute. Somebody walking around with a reader could pick up that information? Maybe Absolutely. If, you, if you're just sort of walking it's, around? It's an electromagnetic field ah. with the case with the credit card. It's it's higher uh, encrypted, but there are Doesn't ones that are less. Safe, you, got, you got to be two inches away from this reader. It's unlike the warehouse RFID devices, which are long distance readers. This There's a well documented really story Anne, about a, uh, a a lipstick line that was carried at a major retailer that had an RFID device implanted in the package. When women would take the lipstick and put it in her shopping cart, it triggered a surveillance camera that tracked women's shopping habits. The people that were monitoring this over the web were 750 miles away. Well, that's the kind of privacy concern you, that I have. You're with. also concerned about debts, people being you've, able to use this so easily. The last thing in the world that Americans need is yet another credit card, and that's really what, what this is. We have $2 trillion in debt. It's like giving a candy bar to a chocoholic. You don't think it's revolutionary. Sorry, I'm going to let him no, talk. Let I him know talk. he's done. Revolutionary. Done. You say it's not revolutionary. Why isn't it? Well, we already have barcodes that are pretty good. We already have global positioning satellites, and, and this technology has been implemented at places like Turnpikes and ExxonMobil Speed Pass. It's good, but really, at the end of the day, it only saves 10 or 20 seconds. All I know is that I'm going to be driving by him in the Speed Pass line as he's sitting there waiting, you know, I have waiting, a speed waiting. Pass. I'm just going to zoom right this by. Is, this is cutting edge. Is there anything that's going to stop it, whatever your concerns are? Is this going to become a widespread item? It's going to be widespread. You're not going to have to carry cash anymore. Our society is going from a cash to a... No, it's my turn. Hush up. <laughs> <laughs> we're, going to, we're going from cash to plastic. Just last night. Just last night, I went to check into my hotel after going for a run, and my magnetic strip didn't work. So I had to go all, all right. the way back down to the front desk, 
Blink Technology Wireless is going to break for the cost. Jonathan, Come David, down. thank you so much. <laughs> Boy, I can't get these guys to be quiet. We'll talk some more about this later. Right. And of course, we should say thank you to David. Uh, and also to Jonathan, but also to Rob and Gia this morning. And you can catch the Murrays on CNBC every Tuesday at 1040 a.m. Eastern Time.